What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick with Palax Master Coach and in this video I've got a great slide and recovery defensive drill that we took and modified from a Salisbury Instagram post where they were just showing one defenseman within the drill and this is a drill that I really like because it's extremely fast paced, it's continuous and it really focuses on teaching defensive players how to slide correctly, how to spider and backside, how to recover if someone else slides to their man, um, how to bump through a defense, and the pace at which the drill goes is so quick, just like in a game. Offensively, we're gonna be able to work on some stuff too. Midfielders are going to work on dodging down the alleys, accepting slides, stepping away, and moving the ball forward or backward. And goalies are also going to be involved. They are going to be in their stances, working on their footwork, and directing the game or directing the drill as it happens. And so goalies are going to want to say a bunch of different things. First, they're going to want to direct the on-ball defenseman on how he needs to play. He needs to give any information on that player that we have. For instance, if it's that player's really good shooter, if he's a lefty or a righty, something to let the on-ball defenseman know how to play him. And then the last thing he's going to need to do is tell everybody where the ball is because we're going to have balls come into the drill in various spots and he's going to need to know and direct how that happens. So let's get right into the drill. To begin, the first thing we're going to talk about is how we want to set the drill up. So we've got four cones up top. The two outside cones are offensive midfielder lines and these midfielders are going to be dodging down the alleys. The next two cones up top are the middle cones and those are going to be defensemen who are going to enter the drill and then defend an alley dodge. The next cone we have is in the middle and this is just to show exactly where an offensive player would be. Um, if we want to, we can throw an offensive player in, but for the most part, having players inside seems to just muddle things up. And the final one is at X, we've got a cone with all of our attackmen. So to start the drill, what we're going to do is we're going to have every player make their calls. So one of the most important parts of this drill is that everybody is communicating. So M1 here, he would say, I've got ball. D1 would say, I go or hot or one, depending on what your I'm um, the slide word is. And then D2, he's backside and he would say, I'm in or two, whatever your second slide call is. So once they've said that, we're going to start the drill. So M5 is going to take his dodge down the alley, defended by M1. And so as he's dodging, what we're going to do is we're just going to say that we're sliding every time. So as the dodge comes down, D1 is going to slide to the ball. Continue this here. M5 is going to step away and accept the slide. And as D1 slides to the ball, he's going to yell fire. And that says, I'm sliding. Then he's going to yell recover or release to M1 who is on ball and M1 is going to run back into the middle. While this slide is happening, I like my backside player to actually come over the center cone to defend in the space that was left by the slide. So as he is sliding and as the recovery is coming through, he's actually going to come to the other side of the field acting like he is actually defending his player. Then as M1 gets in, he is going to yell bump and D2 is going to go back to his side. Now, as M5 dodged down the alley, he's going to accept the slide, and A1 is going to pop out to the side, and M5 is going to throw him a pass, and as A1 catches the ball, we are going to start the next dodge. One important aspect that I forgot to cover just a second ago was that as this dodge is happening down this side, the next group needs to get ready to go so that once A1 catches the ball here, they can actively dodge quickly. And so now the second group is going to dodge. The LSM is going to yell out ball. D2 is going to yell out I go or hot, the first slide, and then M1 is going to yell out two or whatever. The biggest key here is that once a player recovers back in, he needs to actively be aware that in our imagination or in, in this drill, that the ball is now coming from the other side. So he doesn't need to pay attention to the ball down here. He needs to reorient himself and pay attention to the ball up here. And so now the same exact thing happens on the other side. 
M3 is going to dodge down the alley, trying to turn the corner. The LSM will defend him. All the while, the goalie is directing how the drill is going. D2 is going to slide out to the ball. M3 is going to accept his slide. The LSM is going to recover after he hears recover or release. D2, when he slides, will say fire. And as D2 comes through here, um, we have M1 showing over to his side as the two. When the LSM recovers in, he'll yell bump. M1 will come back over. And then as M3 is stepping away, a two will pop open to him. They will move the ball down. And then once the ball is caught here, we'll want M1 and D3 to be stepped out and ready to dodge again with M1 on the crease as the hot, ready to slide. Um, the LSM will be in as the two. And this drill just continually goes left side, right side, left side, right side. Very, very quick. Players have to communicate as quickly and as efficiently as they can because it's really just a quick hitter drill where players are going in and out the whole time. The thing that I like most about this drill is that where M1 started, he gets to defend the ball on a dodge, recover in and become the two. Then he needs to protect as the two. Then as this dodge comes down the other side and the LSM comes back in to push him back to this side, now he becomes the slide and he gets to practice a slide. So in this drill, every player on the defensive end who enters the drill will defend the ball, become the two, defend the crease as the two, and then get to slide and practice every single element of our defense within the same drill. I go! The final thing that I want to show you guys is a simple modification to allow our midfielders to get reps at stepping away, accepting the slide, and throwing back. So one is a two ball way to do this drill where we're going to have one ball on one side, one ball on the other. But basically the drill works in the exact same way from the offensive and defensive standpoint. And so if we want to use two balls, we're just going to have one ball on the left and one ball on the right. And as this midfielder dodges down the alley and accepts the slide, he's just going to roll away, use his question mark or his wide turn away, and he's going to move the ball back to his own line. And once this player catches the ball, the first player in this line will dodge down this way, and he will roll back, move it up here, and it will, it will continue to go left side, right side. But instead of throwing forward, now we're throwing backwards. The other way that we can run this is we can do this with just one ball. And how we do that is we are going to have a third line or maybe a coach. I usually like to stand right in the middle of the field so I can watch everything. So let's say we have a third line here. We'll just make him M6. And what he is going to do is when this player rolls back, he is going to move it to this relay player who will move it again to the player who is in line here. Move them down. And now he is dodging the alley. The good thing about using just one ball is it gives a defense a good understanding of how quickly the ball actually moves and how quickly they need to be ready for the next dodge within an offense. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If there's something specific that you guys are looking for, definitely let me know. Make sure to follow Palax Master Coach and Palax on Instagram and Facebook. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.